March is the end of it. And it is garden time Monday. I am sweating. Been out here pulling weeds around the yard, doing things, trying to make the yard look pretty. My husband's weed eating. And uh, this place is starting to look like a jungle. Check out the garden over there. See that? Starting to, where's it at? Hmm. Starting to look like a jungle. Let's head on over there and check out the garden and see the progress I've, I've made <clears throat> and how much more needs to be done. Okay. In this section I planted four heels, four heels of uh, butternut squash right in here. And I'm going to clean this out and plant cucumbers around it because my husband wants cucumbers. That's where the peas was at. I got six heels over here. One here, one there, one there, one there, and one there, and one there of spaghetti squash. Here's the four rows of potatoes. I'm going to be working on that as well. I dug out the first one because as you can see they're starting to die. I don't know if they're dying because the weeds are dying because they're ready to be dug up. But we ran out of potatoes so I dug up the first plant to see how many there was in there and how big they were. So we might go ahead and eat that first row. Here's our green beans. We already put, we already picked some green beans out, and I'm still working on keeping the weeds out. But I got all that Johnson grass out of this area, and I'm gonna take all that out and replant. Uh, I'll start planting my uh, fall garden where the, where that tall grass is at once I get it out. So that's that. And then we have our beans over here. <clears throat> I planted in here some Chinese red noodle beans. Here's one of the plants. I'm going to get them to grow up this, but I'm going to get all these weeds out today once I get done with this video. My peppers are growing pretty good. There's some more beans. You can see they're flowering. Black beans. Lucky, I need to pick these. They're starting to, uh, to do me good. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to pick these black beans and kidney beans and pintle beans uh, while they're small, like green beans. Or are you supposed to wait for them? Look, I'll tell that in that. Or are you supposed to wait for them to die on the plant and then dry out and put them in your pot and boiling so I don't know so anyway here's some more my grandma's getting dry some more peppers here got some flowers on there so it's wonderful I just don't want the weeds in there little trees are growing in there too tomatoes growing in there finally I gotta get the weeds out but tomatoes are looking fine to me Got some, I guess these are banana peppers. Looks like it. Look how nice this cabbage is getting. Starting to get ahead for me. Tomatoes are looking nice. Got some blight on the bottom. I'm still working on getting all the lower branches out so I can get that saved. Peppers are growing. Look at these nice tomatoes. Yep. That there is tomato plant I planted, but it hasn't grown yet. Today I got the weeds out of these collard greens, and there's some okra in the middle here. 
there's okra and there's two cu three cucumbers. Probably gonna have to take some of them out because they're gonna kill the okra. <laughs> Planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think 10 halabanero plants. I'm gonna be watering those as soon as I turn the water back on. I just turned the water off. I was watering the green, the, the pencil beans and corn that I planted here. Been getting the weeds out of that. And I planted three heels, one, two, three of yellow squash and three of zucchini um, there. Got the weeds out of the cucumbers here. And there's only, I think I only have three, two or three okras on the whole thing, which is upsetting me because I like okra. So that's that. I gotta get these weeds out. And there's more tomatoes and peppers uh, growing in here. And working really hard on that. And then inside here is the watermelon. As you can see, here's one watermelon plant here. My husband's going to go through here with between the rows with the lawnmower and disc and disc those watermelons all the way through here. Of course, let's walk over here and check out the cantaloupe and the pumpkin once I make it over there. Pretty good walk. <laughs> Between my hair and my sweat, it's tickling me. I'm a hot mess. And the bugs, when you start sweating, the bugs just don't leave you alone. Check out here some more, some more watermelon. Some more watermelon. Isn't that beautiful? More, more watermelon. More watermelon. I need to get in here and get the weeds out from around them. Let's come over here where we have the cantaloupe. I'm sweating. Have the cantaloupe and the pumpkin. You see how they're doing. Here's cantaloupe. Don't need the grass in there. A lot of work in this garden, guys. You can't look. Get the lawnmower in here and get this grass down where it's easier to get in here and take care of these plants. So we can have some cantaloupe and sell it. I'll eat it, but my husband won't. Just gotta get, keep the weeds away from it so that the sun can hit it. Oh, but that's cantaloupe. Let's come over here to where the pumpkins are over here. You can see them standing up in here. Got some pumpkins growing over here. Aren't they nice looking? Some of them are smaller than others, but we got them growing. We don't need the Johnson grass in here though. I need to get it watered so it's easier to pull because you just break it and it's going to keep coming back because Johnson grass is wild. Very, very, very bad weed to have. I think the whole state of Kansas has it. I'm sure other states do too. But that's the pumpkin. So. Pumpkin, cantaloupe, and watermelons growing. I'm going to finally got all my corn and pencil beans planted over there I showed you. And um, let's go check the sweet potatoes. See how they're doing.
peek at my husband. <laughs> He's working hard over there, trying to get the weeds around the fence and stuff taken care of. Let's go check out these sweet potatoes. They looking good to me. I'm on the opposite side of the barbed wire fence, but we'll we'll be we'll be able to see them still. It's all farther I can go is right here. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, the ground that they're in is not level. It's mainly a bunch of cardboard at the very bottom and oh, oh. The barbed wire fence is in the way. I gotta look where I walk, guys. That's not safe. He's supposed to be taking the fence down, but it's taken about 10 years. We're gonna build a compost uh, pile, a compost cage, whatever, to, uh, to coat, hold all the grass clippings and things in. We've got the pallets here, and I just gotta get the stakes and put them in so we can start using our compost properly. Come over on this side of the potatoes. They're looking good. You can see the new growth and everything on there as they're coming in. Next year it'll be even better because I'm actually going to have soil in it. The only, only soil, let me go over here. The only soil we had in our stock tank this year was the soil we mixed up from Bumblebee Junction's secret soil mix. The rest of it's leaves and um, wood. <laughs> Here's our garlic, which I think I need just pick this out because I don't think there's anything in there but we're only going to hit maybe eight garlic and here's our onions I don't know if, if anything's even going to make it but we got onions in there I just need to get in there trim them down and water them and see if the peppers that I planted are actually going to grow so we'll see I gotta get the weeds out I'll tell you one thing God won't give us anything we can't handle, but yet, it's hard to keep up. A lot of work. So, every once in a while I have to take breaks. Now I'm going to come over here. Sometime today, we're going to fix this fence here. After we get this mowed and all the weeds out. We're going to fix this fence up. And get all the weeds around it out. And I'm going to get this disked up and tilled up in here. And I'm going to plant my my 2023 corn and uh, the beans and some muskmelon in there. And then I'm going to tear up the ground on the outside edge here and plant zucchini and yellow squash. My alarm went off. It's 12 o'clock. So that is the the garden and uh, we'll see how much food we get how much progress I can keep the weeds down my husband says like Mondays do your your potatoes Tuesdays do your squash Wednesdays do your tomatoes uh, you know and that way you don't be overwhelmed you just do one plant not one plant but one style one one kind I just tripped on something. Yep. Some more wire. Don't need that in the lawnmower or the weed eater. Anyway, I'll let you see the blueberries and blackberries, how they're doing. And then we'll say that's all because I almost forgot about them. Let's come over here. Check the blueberries and blackberries. Okay, as you can see, the silver thing where the 
windows out right there is a, bl a blackberry and then we have a blueberry here and a blueberry here I need to get the weeds out and then look at that blackberry there's some leaves growing on it already isn't that nice so they're coming around they're they're growing and that makes me happy anyway that's it for the garden for today and we'll see you next Monday for the next garden tour and see how many more how much food we have coming out of the garden and how many more weeds I can get removed so we'll see you next week have a wonderful day remember God loves you and so do I ta-ta